conflict. They try very hard because they had it at the back of their mind that if we do not work hard, then many people will laugh at us since they have said that we will not make it by, by any means. Mm. Yeah. So that was like a motivation and they did it well. Yeah. Well, what, I'm the, what our, our next thing that I want to ask is, Gambia has been under the, rule, under the British rule for many decades. So what, what did it mean to Gambians to be independent? Well, uh, the British, in the, in, the, in the real sense of the word, mm -hmm. neglected too many areas. Because even education, mm -hmm. it, if you go into, 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 into letters mm -hmm. of various villages, particularly villages with, uh, where uh, chiefs were, mm -hmm. because those were the first that, that have uh, uh, primary schools. Those schools that were instituted, for instance, in Sukuta here, mm -hmm. in Gunjur, in Birkama, in any other uh, uh, district where the, 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 the head chief was living, mm -hmm. they made their own initiative with the, with the, with the budget of the district tribunal to, uh, to, 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 to establish a school. Mm -hmm. So if they did not do that initiative, those schools will not be established. And those are right there. The papers are there. If you go into the archives, you come across them. It was the villagers themselves who took up the initiative to have primary schools in their villages. So there was a widespread neglect in the, in the, in the, in the provision of education under the British. When it comes to health centers, they, 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 virtually some districts were, have not, no health center, neither uh, health post. The, 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 the health posts in some districts were in initiatives of the villagers themselves. So virtually the British uh, did not have much interest in the, in the promotion of health. When you look at agriculture, agriculture, the, the Gambia in history, Gambia was a rice growing uh, country. That's why slaves, that, uh, the, the, the slave traders made Gambia their target. Because they know that Gambians were able to know all the, 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 the agricultural expertise in, in, in growing rice. And Gambian slaves, if you go to Virginia, because Virginia in the New World, in, 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 in America, Virginia is the rice growing center. So the, the, the Gambian slaves are sent straight away there so that they can contribute their, their expertise in the growing of rice. But the British selfishly changed the, the growing of rice into cash crop. So cash crop, therefore, uh, because they introduced the payment of taxes. Obviously, the main folk were rice growers. But since tax was introduced, mm -hmm. and rice was not a cash crop, groundnut was introduced as the cash crop. Therefore, they have to abandon the cultivation of uh, 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 groundnut, uh, uh, rice for, for, for groundnut, in order to have money to be able to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. So that, that was their, their main focus of, uh, 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 their main focus, because uh, groundnut was useful to them. Groundnut feed as the raw material for their factories. Therefore, the men had to abandon the rice growing and go into groundnut growing in order to have money to pay for their, their, their taxes. So there was a widespread neglect in these key important development indicators, mm -hmm. such as education, health, and agriculture, as far as the British colonial rule was concerned. Having been under the British rule for so many years, what impact do you think, uh, if you look back from 1965 up to date, the British have on the Gambia? Well, uh, 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 if, if you look at that end, we, 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 we historians will say we have uh, b both positive and negative uh, impact of, 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 of colonialism. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, 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 in very short term, I'll say it, Gambians were able to, 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 to progress positively mm -hmm. and, uh, be, 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 because the, 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 the medium of, uh, of instructions the, the British left with us, which is uh, English language, becomes an international language. Mm -hmm. So for, 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 for Gambians, it was not a, a big deal mm -hmm. to, 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 to progress rapidly in English language and then go anywhere into the world and, uh, and, and, and have appointment everywhere, even in French-speaking countries. Gambians go there with their English and have appointment. Mm -hmm. So that, that is a positive impact. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we look at the other side of it, uh, 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 the, 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 the lack of 
education uh, has, has, has retarded a lot of progress of the Gambia. For instance, by the time of our independence, only two Gambians had doctorate degree. The, this, the, the first lady to have doctorate degree was uh, 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 Dr. Florence Mahoney. She was the first Gambian and a lady for that matter to have the doctorate degree. After her, then Dr. Lamin Marena. These were the first two Gambians and the only two Gambians before independence with their doctorate degree. So therefore, uh, uh, all other Gambians with their doctorate degree, with their master's degree, with their bachelor's degree, it was after independence, not before independence. So from 1965 up to date, do you think the Gambia is doing well on its own? Gambia did very well. Many people said we will not, we'll, we, 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 we'll, we'll not make it. Even the UN recommended that uh, uh, if we do not associate with Senegal, we will not make it. But uh, here are we now. Mm -hmm. We have gone a long way. We have all the, uh, the, 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 the apparatus of development. We, we have been tapped at, the, at, 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 at our back most of the time in international fora. So Gambia is a, is a recognized sovereign state all over the world. Mm -hmm. It has been doing its parts in almost all global, uh, 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 global issues that, that, that need to be contributed by, by any sovereign states. We have seen the widespread participation of Gambians in, in, in various peacekeeping missions, and uh, the successes are, 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 are always uh, 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 shown to, 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 to the people. And the Gambians also have uh, been man in various important positions in, in, in various parts of the world. We, we, we should remind ourselves a Gambian has uh, 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 risen to the position of Assistant Secretary General mm -hmm. in the United Nations and various highly high profile position mm -hmm. in, 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 in international uh, 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 organizations. Mm -hmm. So these, w all these Gambians had their education after independence, in, in, in post-independent Gambia. Mm -hmm. So haft, after independence, mm -hmm. Gambia have gone a long way mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in achieving its sovereignty. Mm -hmm. On Independence Day, when we held our flag high on the 18th of uh, February, especially now that we are going to celebrate it this Monday, 48th anniversary of our country's independence. What, who are the people you think we should remember on Independence Day for their struggle and fight for the attainment of the independence of the Gambia? Yeah, we should remember there was this union leader. His name is not, much of the time, his name is not mentioned in public forum. This Gambian Workers' Union leader by the name M. E. Jallo. M. E. Jallo uh, was a struggler for the independence of the Gambia. He organized a, a successful strike in 1961. In fact, he was not a very good friend of the, of the governor then, Governor Winley. Governor Winley termed him as a very dangerous individual who had political connections with, uh, with the Gorilla groups like the Mau Mau struggles uh, in, in Kenya and FLNA in, in Algeria. But this man was able to mobilize workers, civil servants, to uh, make so they work for their country and see the success that their country needs. And thanks to him, uh, the, the, the civil service is still streamlining in the, in the, in the, in the, in the positive line. Uh, and, and there was also uh, the, 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 the Strugglers for independence, like uh, the, 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 the first president, of course, that Jawara, whenever it, 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 it comes, his name must be mentioned. Mm -hmm. And also uh, the opposition leaders at that time, P.S. Nyai, he was, he was the main opposition leader from the 60s up to the 70s. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the Jesse Fai, he was the first Gambian to constitute a political party, the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, there were other small parties like uh, St. Clair Jews People's Party, mm -hmm. although these, those parties quickly submerged into larger parties, but they also had uh, the, the, the contribution that they made. Of course, the first woman to contest f ever an election in the Gambia, mm -hmm. Augustus Jawara, the, 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 the wife of uh, uh, the, the President Jawara, mm -hmm. should also be recognized, because at least she did an effort as uh, the first Gambian lady mm -hmm. to contest. And uh, of course, there were numerous uh, Yai campaigns, particularly in, 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 in Banjun 